Hey guys, welcome to Ocean Not Included! Clay's Amazing Space Comedy Simulator Extraordinaire! My name is Twitchy and this totally isn't my third attempt at the intro. We've been here on the LZ Alpha for a hundred and nine, sorry, a thousand and ninety-nine days. Oh man, let's call it a thousand one hundred days. And finally we've reached the point where actually this is going to be, I, we just have to do one of those episodes every now and then where we go, oh no, everything is broken. Because... Because every well, not everything is broken, but things are starting to show uh, a little bit of wear and tear, a little bit of troubles from what we have set up. And the first thing I need to draw your attention to is the food. Oh my gosh, the food is a big problem. And the problem that we've got with the food is we are not irrigating. We're not irrigating because there's no water in the pipes. And we've got no water in the pipes because we have a power issue up here. Ooh, okay, there we go. So what I'm going to try and do is to move... So it's really simple. It's really simple. We've got power coming from this hydrogen set up here. It gets stored in the batteries, and that is used to cool itself down, and then any excess runoff goes into the grid. The problem with that is we do not have enough power to spill over, go in through this large trail transformer, and go up and cool down the water. That's that's the big thing there. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna I'm gonna do a thing. I'm gonna put these across the bottom here. I'm gonna grab another one of these lead iron ore. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna get the big one. In fact, I'm gonna go for the big one. Uh, and we're gonna put it right there. All right, beautiful. Get heavy watt wire. Pull these across. Uh, get a normal conductive wire. Pull this across here. So what's gonna be happening here is when these batteries are being charged, it's also gonna include this battery in that setup. I'm gonna also. Uh, double out the number of batteries get a get a bit more latent charge for when we are uh, for when the hydrogen is not flowing but of course this will not be enough i mean i may i may have gone into the future a little bit if we have a look here and just a little bit into the future as you can see a uh, thousand and four cycles up there so uh and, and maybe i may have witnessed someone die i knew we were having some food troubles but i was wondering whether this would be enough and uh no no it was not enough so we need to go down and do something else all the way down here you see we've got some nosh beans and actually i happen to know i happen to know through mild experimentation that there is a a, a best part of 750 nosh beans that uh, beans there so we're just going to kind of go in through the top like this maybe try and do something to encourage the trapping of the carbon dioxide Oxide, and maybe we can get ourselves a whole bunch of rust. I want to put this also up at a high priority, and Miss Align should be coming along to deal with this very shortly. One night time later, and all 12 colonists are saying they are hungry, so we're definitely going to have to try and do something about that. Thankfully, Mrs. Line's next orders is to go dig. Oh, it turns out she wants to shower, but after that, it is to go dig. Okay, the first thing that we set out to do has been done. You can see that we've got the large power transformer feeding in through this conductive wire over here, charging this battery up and making sure this aqua tuna can cool down the liquids over here. As you can see, we are merely two degrees off, and I, uh, I, I, I'm feeling like we could actually, we could actually actually uh, encourage that to be a little bit lower. I, I'm, I'm going to go for 24 because you know what? Five degrees, right? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Down in the corner, Miss has made our way into the nosh beans, which means we should be able to come up to our place of fooding over here, or as we like to call it, the kitchen. I'm going to say ten of these. As you can see, we've got six units, 459. Uh, so that's 60. I mean, we could we could we could make 50 of these things. We could eat, we could eat easily. We've got a bunch of water on standby. We're just we're just going to wait now. Just got to wait for the food to be made. But more importantly, waiting for the water to get pumped out of here. Look, it's going, it's going. Waiting for the water to get pumped out of here, so we will start feeding our food. But man, we need to come up with better fooding solutions. Another thing that I noticed coming down to the power generation in the uh, the daily reports here, this is probably one of the few times I actually use it for anything uh, useful. As you can see, we've got power used and power wasted. If we have a look down, the, we've got hydrogen generator, manual generator, power transformer, steam, large battery, battery, small turbine, and the natural gas generator. That's the one I really want to have a look at. Everything else is on joules or single figures of kilojoules, but the uh, natural gas generator is overproducing by 37.5 kilojoules. I think we can do better. The jumbo battery charge loss, that, that's alright, that's, that's just being stored somewhere and lost. Maybe we'll do something better with that at some point. But that natural gas generator is something we need to work on. And of course, the only place that we've got anything going down is over here. Uh, and so I'm going to copy out this large power transformer. We're going to pop it... 
Up here, yes indeed, up here. We're going to grab ourselves the heavy wire. We're going to pull this up and in. Mm, do we want to go on this side? What is this mess I've done here? This must have been one of the early systems. Let's just pull this up like that. Grab ourselves a mesh tile. And of course, the important thing is to provide a uh, automation signal. So whenever this battery gets too full, that's, that's too much. Let's go to 50 here and let's go to 95 here. Whenever it gets up to 95 uh, and until it drops down to, to 50, these power transformers will spill out up to 8 kilowatts, it turns out. I'm not sure whether we're making 8 kilowatts here. Let's have a look. 4.3, whatever. Uh, we'll, we'll see what we can do about it. We'll see what we can do. I definitely feel like we could stack more of these up here as well. That's... That's something that has occurred to me. Not that the gas flow is actually strong enough. I think I'm gonna go as far as to remove this power shut off from the system. Let's just, uh, let's put all these nice wires in place so we're controlling the power transformers directly. And then we can, we just like pull this down here then and we'll be happy, right? Whilst we're down here, I have noticed the ticking time bomb. Literally just been looking around whilst these guys have been uh, powering up all the stuff. And it's this, it's this large power transformer down here. As you can see, it is uh, powering the thermal aqua tuner, but it is pulling off of the main system, which which means it's not getting the power that we need it to. So I'm going to grab this large power transformer. No, I'm not. I'm going to destroy these ladders here so that I can put this large power transformer down, grab ourselves this heavy watt wire, drag it across the top and into the power, and then hopefully by connecting up a bit of this insulated wire, we're going to be providing two ways of this thermal aqua tuner to get powered. Either siphoning straight off of the power from the generator set up here, which I think would be the preferred method, or indeed getting off of the backbone of the main power system but we just we need to get this place cooling down because i've noticed it's getting hot oh no the starvation troubles are starting to reach in we've got captain subs and mr line having troubles i wonder why it's always those two that are the last to go and get their food i don't know but i'm also wondering what's going on with the uh no pending deliveries i disagree cooking supply is jelly in that lot you know what I mean, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to make this the highest priority for a little while because we've got a handful of calories like not enough just not enough Oh, there was some barb. There was some meat in the barbecue. It's giving us an extra five thousand calories. Okay, that's pretty cool. And now the tofu is getting destroy uh, destroyed. No, dropped off. Yeah. Okay. So let's put this back up on nine then, and we should be good just to let that roll. Oh man, F food issues are issues. A big issues. Oh, 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 we're at the point where we get to watch this happen, and indeed I wish to watch this happen. It's been a long time since I've even seen evidence of this working. I want to particularly take note of the temperature of the water when it gets mixed into here, because I've got a feeling if it doesn't go above 70, that I actually want to change out these the, the liquid in the cooling system. Let's press the right button here. The liquid in the cooling system into ethanol, because we can bring ethanol down further, and the reason that I didn't use it is because I was worried that the water would go above 70. 75 degrees and thus vaporize oh here it goes here it goes and thus vaporize all the water but with this hydro sensor now being dry we're going to watch that pour in uh, i'm particularly interested with this little blob of carbon dioxide that we have behind the hydro sensor uh it needs to it needs to be free i think we might need to like try and try and bring a way through here like a little gas vent or something like that sorry the uh, the, the noise of the doors made me feel like one of my duplicates had died it was a bit of a weird noise there so i was like oh no but it turns out no we were good but we still got this really awkward carbon dioxide lock but it looks like the top temperature we get is 60 it's a little close but i think we can live with it let's have a look at what the temperature of the water is coming out here it's 13 degrees yeah i think i think we could probably go about swapping this out for ethanol anyway the dual power system is now up and running and the aqua tuna is doing and it's Joe. If I have a look in here, what temperature are we bringing this water out at? 34 degrees. It's a, it's still a bit hot, but not as hot as the 4850 it was getting up to in here. What's the temperature of the carbon dioxide? 49. It's still trying to climb, but just wait. Just wait until these chilled liquids get around. I mean, they're coming out at about 30. Oh, 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 what's this? Yellow alert for no reason. Uh, what's happening up here? Let's get rid of all this. Okay, so the doors are open. Oh, no. Oh, no. How did this get broken? Like, literally, how did this get broken? It's entombed somehow. I would be like, oh, a meteor came and hit it. But it's underneath layers of stuff, so I don't I don't understand. How did it get covered? Okay, the doors aren't closing because the, uh, the system doesn't have power. So I'm going to do that, and this should let all the doors close now, and we'll stop taking meteor damage, hopefully. Hmm, so I've noticed I've missed a very important piece of equipment out of this room here. I wanted to have a thermo sensor telling us when this steam was at 200 degrees as opposed to it turning on at 125. What keeps getting broken? Ah, it's all, it's all space stuff. It's dealing with itself, but I need to turn off all these top priorities. 
But I think we're just going to have to leave this little cavity as it is. I can't, I literally cannot think of anywhere. Maybe, maybe if we broke this insulated tile through a corner. Let's try it, let's try it. There's only one thing to lose here, and that's my dignity. <laughs> Okay, hopefully this isn't going to lead to any broken seal. It should just work out pretty well. The fact that we have destroyed it speaks well to me. Can we even get that out of there? That's the big question. Do we have a container around here to ask it to go to? Not at the moment. Okay, well, anyway, the important thing here is I want to be able to get a thermo sensor in and we got to see whether it's going to even work. What's going on with my hotbar? The mouse all the way down. Look at this OX. What? Oxygenation systems, you mean? It's, it's really not working well, though. What? What? But this also doesn't appear to be looking let's let's do something like that let's also find a container and be like hey you uh also actually let's go with this one also go and let's see what gets sweeped up here hopefully these ones but they're both saying unreachable but how did i break it if they're both unreachable you know what i'm saying well i i think we can successfully call that uh experiment failed and i'm gonna do what every good player should do when they fail an experiment load up the save they made just beforehand right well i don't normally do that because well honestly i forget all the other things that i have done so it's more hassle than it's worth but as i literally just made the save because i took a small break i think it's probably worth it because there was no way zero ways i was going to get in there and fix that after after the fact it just it just wasn't gonna happen so here we go fix it spend the day doing exactly the same thing such as ripping all these down as i've done and we'll be back where we were we have a new problem playing out uh just the whole world is full of problems and we are going to get there to try and fix it the big problem is the fact that we are not being able to refill these atmospheric suits quick enough mainly because we don't have enough water flowing in uh, other other button sorry uh to turn over things quickly and also this isn't quite turning over as far as i would have liked but anyway the upshot of this this is that my boy Shroudicus is not able to get out and do his cooking as often as I would like him to. So I don't I think we might have to try and put someone else up on the uh, the cooking just, just to have someone else, someone else doing some work somewhere online. Is anybody even like slightly good at it? Mimi, I don't want doing it because she's good at some other things. How about Forrest? You're now a cook. Well done, mate. Oh, whoops. When did this happen? All right, we got, we got to take this out. There's a few things like this that I've noticed. The bridge is going in the wrong direction and, and pipes being put in place that no longer are needed. For instance, this blue line here, this is a petroleum line that we just don't need anymore. We've, in fact, got too much petroleum in there. So I'm just going to start by doing this. And we'll we'll see what happens, uh, what, like whether, whether whether they take all this out or whether, whether we need to figure out something different. Am I able to do this without taking out that middle bit? I, I sure surely surely hope so Ugh, it's over heat damage deconstruct that i i see some problems here i see some problems the big problem is that we got uh got our coolant above well it's not quite above 100 degrees, but 98 degrees that's not cool yo that's not cool the fact that this overheats at 75 degrees what are we supposed to do with something at 75 degrees we're supposed to somehow keep the power going in here and the what the way i'm gonna try and do that is with solar panels Wish me luck, guys. So here is the prime example of everything that's going wrong. Look, look, look at this. We've got Legit, we've got Decipher, we've got Shrouticus, and we've got Jelly. All just hanging around waiting for delivery of gases. This one here just isn't happening. It just isn't happening, and this is a big shame. I'm hoping the fact that we've now allowed the water to flow through thuswards, uh, it's not going because it's on... Ah, oh, because we're out of power classic i was about to say because we're on like the wrong time we are actually on the wrong time as well but uh, as you can see red line going around but what should be happening here is this water should be pumping out over there ah okay let's try and get things turning over up here as well i've turned up the priorities of these trying to get the cooling happening down below we need to get this we need to get these uh, petroleum liquids here down below 75 if we can get it down below 75 we can then start using the cooling from the petroleum that's fine uh, to go ahead and uh, cool down the solar panels themselves that's my plan we'll see how it works it should work right but like why, why wouldn't it <laughs> I tell you why I won't, because the power situation in here is a shocking, just totally a shocking. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this one, we're going to go across and we're going to go up. We're going to destroy the wires here. We're going to then put a power transformer down this side, maybe not a large one, just a small one, to go ahead and trickle charge this cooling setup when the whole power over this side has been, has been topped up. Uh, I'm hoping that will work. I'm hoping so. Almost all my life at the moment, running on hope. I don't like it. That's not how I like to work. Work. 
I also at the same time need to spend the day making food and by making food I mean I'm just gonna hit this power button like just go 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 well we're gonna have the auto save first and then away they go everybody's gonna just deliver stuff there we're just gonna leave this running for at least quarter of the cycle right Okay, that's nearly half the cycle. Let's uh, let's bring this down to a six at this point. Beautiful, beautiful. We managed to make ourselves about 20,000 calories. That's cool, that's cool. I'm mostly interested in what's going on up here as well. Ah, cool. Some of the uh, insulated tiles are being taken out over here. Taking them out one at a time because, well, there's pipes and all sorts under here and who knows what I'm gonna blow up. Okay, Mad Frank threw down a power system. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. At some point, we've got to figure out how to open up all this up top. Uh, but well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna carry on like this for now. I really, we just need to get these liquids down. Look, the petroleum's up to over 100 degrees. Got to get that down. Oh look, they're doing their work. So we keep finding forest here, trying to charge up the batteries to keep the gas flowing. And I feel like we can do something a little bit better, though it's gonna be expensive. We're gonna take our lead wire. I feel like this might cause us some troubles, but we're gonna take our lead wire and we are going to expand out this system. Now getting in here and replacing these wires is gonna be a little bit of a trouble, but we can definitely work on it at some point. And of course, I'm wondering whether we can replace this conductive bridge no, I'm going to have to literally rip it out. Okay, all right, let's see what we can do about this. Okay, so I'm following the same principle as all the other, like, super important must-keep-running stuff. Uh, we've got the power that's being delivered by the generators before it goes out to the main grid. And I'm taking it off from the power transformer to power up the, uh, the gas pump, the liquid pump, the carbon skimmer, the little filter that we've got there, though I'm fairly sure we don't need that filter anymore. Uh, and we're going to go around and we're going to take that wire and we're going to take it all the way back to here. I'm not sure how we're going to cut bridge this little gap here. I kind of don't want to puncture this 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 area, but we, we might actually have to end up doing so. Nah, we don't. If I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. And possibly a quick way of saving some power is to deconstruct this battery and replace it with a smart battery, right? Oh, I've just found loot. I've already cancelled it because I got panicky. She has emptied 500 kilograms, oh no, of this. We, of course, did need to do that. Ah, oh, man, but not nowhere near 500 kilograms. That's all going to fall down into this space and we're going to... We're gonna get overflowed maybe down here. I don't know, we'll find out, we'll find out. All right, this is this is where we find out. Go, Luna, go. Go do that thing you do, emptying out your liquids everywhere. I love it, actually. Honestly, it's what we are here for. It's a little bit of a shame that we can't see it elsewhere, but as you can see, the petroleum is definitely there. All right, we've dropped a whole bunch down here. It's getting quite full. It's to the point where it's actually now saying that it is flooded. All right, we'll guess we'll mop some of this up. Well, this is the situation that we're trying to cause here. As you can see, the gas is starting to back up and maybe even to we need to think about getting another set of generators up there, but we haven't actually got the wire in place, so it's just happened to have uh, everything has lined up well to show us the situation we are headed towards. I really don't know how we're going to get in there and fix that. I do know how. I just don't want to. Who, who's got access right now? Let's turn access off to everyone who is not these two, and uh, let's do it. Let's, let's get in there and fix those. All right, go, go, Mad Frank. I think he's going to do it all in just one... One one trip? Yeah, he did it all in one trip. Okay, beautiful. I did ask all of this to get swept up here, but I don't know how long that's going to take, and I kind of want to fill in this bit again before this erupts. Oh, we're dormant. We could, we could be all right for a little while. Who was scolding? Oh, no. What is going on? Who is scolding? I don't like it. The reason that someone is scolding is because they don't have their atmosphere suit. Uh, so it's going to be either Decipher Legit or Shrouticus. I, I don't know. I found almost all of them up in, up in space a second ago, so who knows? One, one thought that I had never considered. Are we leaking temperature? Not so much through the abyss light, but look, there's some coal here. There's some igneous rock. I, I think we might be. Let's, uh... Let's just do that, shall we? Ah, oh, the fact that this, this has just gone dormant as we're trying to fix it doesn't fill me with hope for the future. What does, though, is this is going to be coming online in six cycles. Now be our water back, finally. I heard this printing pod go. I would like to get some food. We got some copper or some pufflet. I think we're going to go for some pufflets. Okay, technically, this system and this system are conjoined at the moment. I'm not sure whether we're going to get to a point where we're pulling too much down the, the wire. It keeps flashing a color, but I don't see what color it flashes. <laughs> Makes me slightly scared. Oh, the Cypher's going to get his ranch. And why is there some... What is this? So, some naphtha down here. Oh, man. Plastic's melted. When have we melted pla- Oh, when have we melted plastic? Okay, we've got a serious issue coming down. I've only just noticed all the uh, water that should be in here 
is currently out here. Uh, okay, that's not great. That's really not great. We're going to have to try and do something about this. I'm going to start by restricting everyone's access down here. And this one, I'm only going to let Decipher. Where is he? Through. Let, let's see if that works out. He's, the, uh, he's literally the only guy who should be down here anyway, right? Decipher saying he doesn't have access down here, despite him being the only one to have access. I'm not sure about this, buddy. Let's... Oh... Oh, it's because you're stuck up here. I bet it's this guy, isn't it? Bottom one. He was the bottom one. Okay. So top priority today is to get this little bit of lead line finished here so we can get powering that gas pump so that this will become full of natural gas so we can get a bit more power running through. That's, that's what today's all about. Power, 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 power. But more importantly, here comes the cipher to test out the thing. Now, I know this is going to fall in there. I've got no problem with it. No liquids followed him. That's fine. But what about this one? Okay, beautiful. Yeah, I'm down. I'm down. It looks good. It looks great. It looks wonderful. Hopefully now we're going to build up some water rather than letting it all just oh, that's a lot of steam <laughs> oh 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 are we overcrowded down here is that what's going on go on decipher you got it you got it who are you calling over and who isn't making it Aha, there you go all right beautiful it must be because of the egg right uh, and now he's all wrangled is anything gonna happen he's picking up the dirt and running away that's that's not great that's that's not what we wanted at all Oh, 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 the line is done. Does that mean this is just constantly pumping? All right, again, I'm going to take this one out and replace it with a smart battery. Well, it keeps flashing yellow, which I believe means that this stuff over here is having a bad time. Uh, that's fine, though. That's fine. Can I get the conductive wire in here? Because, of course, we've got a little bit of an airlock system over there, so getting it all replaced would actually work out quite well for us. So I noticed that this thermal aqua tuna has also run out of power, and this means we're getting a little warm over here. Now, this wouldn't normally be too much of a problem, but what I'm going to go and do is connect these two systems together. I've done a little bit of maths in my head. Uh, we've got the 1,200 there. Let's call it uh, 14, 15, and that looks to be about it. I mean, 10, yeah. Uh, so that should be enough to not drop, uh, push us over the 2,000 that this wire can take. And instantly, power goes beautiful okay the lack of water has actually become a serious issue we've not got enough coming into here i um to give us enough gas to be able to fill up our suits and to, to get people out i'm not entirely sure what to do about it because of course we've done everything we can to try and cool oh look 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 where's the carbon dioxide gone it's there floating on top beautiful beautiful um so we, we are pumping water out but it's it's about half as slow as we need i think i think that's what we're finding out here it's just not not working out as well as it could and we've discussed the way to fix that and i think we're gonna do it i am going to ooh, scolding no 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 uh, i'm gonna come into the plumbing we're gonna get a water vent and we're just gonna empty all the water oh no uh empty all the water into this area i need to take away one of these uh, ladders first unfortunately frank 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 what what are you doing what are you doing so something else that i found was a little bit of trouble similar like mimi's also doing it okay fine was this conveyor row and come over here and it was dropping off all the lime into the place where it used to be which obviously is not where we want stuff there it is lime there's only 35 kilos but as that is the entirety of our line supply i was like no 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 so i've asked them to come along and it's now getting dropped down with the auto sweeper to get everything put into place what is going on with this overflow here does not matter let's get out of here still got starvation going on despite the fact that we're nearly up to 50,000 calories so that's that's just a problem with people not not with the food supply up here i have gone ahead and i have drained all the ethanol out of one tank and popped it into this other tank because this, this side doesn't need any more cooling than what's going on but this side most definitely did so i took the water out of the water that we're trying to cool pumped it back into this this uh, tank down here and this is now getting cooled quite nicely as you can see we've got five degrees going in 15 degrees Degrees coming out. That is a 10 degree jump. That's no problem. And the only reason it's as good as it is, if you have a look at this radiant liquid pipe, I have changed it out for copper. Gold would have been just as good, but copper and gold are the two metals that appear to me anyway to have the uh highest thermal conductivity for instance lead that we used to make the pipes out of have a thermal conductivity of 35 which sounds pretty good but if you go and have a look at copper you can see that it's 60 nearly double nearly double gold is the same i didn't look at steel let's have a look 54 so yeah gold or copper seem to be your choices there but i think with that i'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure ladies and gentlemen today we've gone around and we have done a whole a bunch of fixes i think it's going to take another episode to get the solar running up top because for some reason we need to get the cooling down uh, much much lower than it is we will we will definitely take care of that auto save is my nemesis yes indeed uh, i've also noticed this i'm gonna fix this off off camera i'm just gonna drop down and, and get these all fixed but i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye